Hello again and welcome to another program in our series, The Best of the ICC World 2020. This would feature Australia and India in the second semi-final of the inaugural ICC World 2020 tournament. The venue was Kingsmead in Durban and the Indians, even though they'd lost just the one match on their way to this semi-final, that was against New Zealand, they'd had some good wins against England and South Africa. So let's take a look at the two teams lining up for this semi-final. India with Gautam Kampir and Virinda Sehwag, Robin Uthapa, Yuvraj Singh, Mahendra Singh Tony, the captain, Rohit Sharma comes into the side, Irfan Patan, Harbhajan Singh, Joginda Sharma, the medium pacer, Srishant, and R.P. Singh. The Australians with Adam Gilchrist, the skipper and keeper, Maddie Hayden, Brad Hodge, Andrew Simons, Michael Hussey, Michael Clark, Brad Haddon, Brett Lee, Mitchell Johnson, the left arm quickie, Nathan Bracken, left arm quick as well, and Stuart Clark. The toss was won by India, and India decided to bat first. Brett Lee, 85 miles an hour. Bit of width. First boundary for India, listen to this. Lee's pumped up here. India five without loss. Looks as though uh, they're going to call for a runner. But uh, I've seen some injured players play with that uh, gay abandon because they think, oh, well, I'm injured. Anything I get here is a bonus, and they just start throwing the bat at it. Two batsmen, the runner. This is going to take some time, these 20 overs, first innings. Gambia offside, finds the boundary. Well, that's what can happen with a bit of bounce in the pitch. You've got to be prepared to take a risk, drive on the rise, may mean that you edge it and get caught behind the wicket. But if you get it right, that's what happens. Boundaries are on offer. Excellent shot. Outside edge. Races away. And another boundary. Our India just starting to move. Pulled away. Leg side. Should get there. Yes, it does. Need some boundaries, India. Super. That's typical, Sevag. Just a little bit of room, but what was important there was the placement. I was going to say he doesn't have to run for this one. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go to the rope. He's not running for any of them at the moment because he's got the runner out there. But that was blistering. You're right, Ravi, that's exactly where he likes it. There's not much of a gap there to thread the ball through, but Savard, the talent is there always. He's gone this time. There seemed to be an edge. The shot was on, but uh, the extra bounce is what did Savard here. And Australia break through. The new bowler who's done it, Mitchell Johnson, a little bit of extra bounce. He uses the left armour angle and a feather top edge through to Adam Gilchrist. And he's doubly pleased because he's skipper given that Ricky Ponning's not playing. And he made this bowling change. Johnson striking in his first over. Gets the outside edge at the pal will get off the mark, but uh, in streaky fashion. Now the mistake that the Indian batsman can make, particularly the right-handers, is play for in-swing. Mitchell Johnson doesn't swing the ball through the air or back to the right-handers. It's more just that left arm angle across the batsman. And I mean tonight, he's opened uh, 
the account for Australia. That's a good shot. He's a good striker, strong player, Utapa. He gets away with the boundary. 36 for one after six. Again, just tipped it over the bar. Well, I said he'd be cranky with a missed run out. He'll be filth he'll be filthy now. It was tough, it went quickly, had to jump in the air. But the Australians, they expect to take these chances. Yes, and Michael Clark should have. He's good enough. Maybe just the height it got to him. Is it full stretch? And it got to him quickly as well. Oh, he's got hold of that, and there is a man in the deep, brilliant catch. Gambir will consider himself unlucky. Hodge was the man there, and that's a really good catch because it came out of the crowd. It was flat, but he's just it to perfection. I tell you what, it was unbelievable. He fell over before he got back to his feet. It's 41 for two now. Let's have a look at this. Hopefully, we'll pick him up. He falls over or slips, and he has to get up, but that is unbelievable. Hodge in the deep, that's where he finds himself most of the time in this uh, 2020 format, and he doesn't drop too many. Yuvraj Singh comes out to the middle, he's on strike. Straight away, a good one from uh, Stuart Clark. Uh, a good cricket by the Aussies in the outfield. Very fine catch by Hodge here. He nailed this, uh, Gambir. Lost balance, but kept his uh, composure, kept his balance, good presence of mind. Comes up uh, with a catch in two hands. A great recovery. He was in no man's land. And you can see Andrew Simon's reaction says it all. Yuvraj sends it into the crowd. Well, just from where he left the other night against England. Short and put away with ease. I think his new nickname's Maximum, is it? He just goes through him. It's amazing how he can time the ball. Second ball or third ball faced. And out of the park she goes again. Yuvraj goes into the crowd. That's massive. Right on top of the stands over square leg. And a magnificent way to end the over. 60 for two. Whoa! Let's have another look. If that's not the longer six, it's going to be very close. Monstrous. This is Yuvraj unleashed. Absolutely unleashed. He's come out like he's been batting for an hour somewhere. What the bus gone for it now? That'll go all the way. Yes, it does. This crowd has come alive and this match has come alive. Two young men are turning it on. And what a splendid manner. Short, but it still had to be put away. And Robin Uttapa, look at that footwork. First the front foot, then just swiveling. Not even transferring his weight onto the back foot. And in front. And now sensible. Very sensible. Just working the ball away for a single. Important thing is right. both these young players mustn't get carried away. India need them right till the end. This is a terrific shot. Boundaries here. Oh, the boundaries are only in our minds, not on the ground. His natural swing, and look at that, it's dented the roof. It's made a mess of that roof. BCCI, you might get a bill from the KwaZulu Natal Cricket Association.
They'll be happy to pay it. Mid wicket's gone out. Third man is inside the circle. Finds the offside. There are no fielders on this ground anymore. Where are the men in yellow? Welcome. You've already been there. Uh, what's it like? The pitch looks to be uh, on the surface a much better one than uh, in the game against South Africa. We'll have to wait here because Yuvraj has again cleared the boundary. Only just this time. But I think it will be six. Looks an awesome touch already. Yeah, to be honest, we want him to bat the whole 20 overs because the kind of uh, nick he's in, he can really uh, get us a very good total and uh, so that we can just fight out and win this game for India. Now the pitch, much better pitch? It's a much better pitch. It's uh, pretty similar to the track which we played against England. And we think that uh, 170, 180 will be a very good total and if Rivra stays there, who knows, he might get much more than that. Here goes Clark. Yuvraj goes in the air. And a great effort in the deep. It was Matthew Hayden diving forward. Never easy. Didn't quite carry to him. But this is a good start. 101 in quick time. Yeah, the, way, uh, the way Yuvraj has batted, and uh, he's in awesome touch. And uh, he's really uh, got us a very good platform so that the other batsmen can really capitalize from here. Thanks a lot, Gautam. Good luck. Thank you very much. Well, there you go. Back to you, Harsha. What an over this is turning out to be. That catch, had Matthew Hayden got both hands round it, would have been uh, the catch of the tournament, maybe. Fine legs inside. Will Square Leg get there just about and they'll get another two. They're running well, these two. Great touch. Ah. Australian fielders scattered all over. Brad Hodge down there on the boundary. This was the Hayden attempt. Oh. That he chose to go for it. I know if you feel the sun, you would have said, I'll take it on the bounce, stop the boundary. And this is the Australian team you're talking about. They'll give it everything. Out of the ground. By some distance, you cannot drop your length by an inch. Yes, because he's so quick to transfer his weight. Look at the way. He just swiveled onto the back foot and getting his half century with that. Just transferring his balance. Oh, lovely shot. I'll tell you what, I hope they don't shorten the boundaries because they don't need to in this format. 17 from the over, 21 from the over. Yuvraj has gone berserk. 55 from 22, India 113 for 2. Long gone coming. Poor Brad Haddon standing out there. He's watching the ball go by and he's saying behind the stumps is a much better place to be. Man will watch it. Under it, he thought he was. Robin Uttapa says, I'm playing this game as well, you know. Watch out. Well, this is going to be a long distance as well. Because this went straight over long off. That's a big, big distance. Stepping down the pitch as if uh, to a spinner. And look how deep into the stand it's gone. So that's going to be 100 meters as well. Being made to look stupid. 102 meters that was. How high is this one? I don't think it's long enough. It is. It's raining sixes. The supposed rain in Durban that's gone. The raindrops are replaced by cricket balls. moment in this match well done Andrew Simons was, he paused for a while he told the wicket keeper where are you and then said doesn't matter I'll hit it myself anyway sensational never run off a misfield that's what the old timers say and 
time to time. It's all the time in the world, but he still had to score a direct hit. Because if he hadn't, Otapa would have made it back to the crease because the wicketkeeper was way deep. And disappointment for Otapa and for the spectators. 125 for three. Well, this so far has been a match of exceedingly high standard. The batting has been, uh, some of it has been absolutely brilliant. Bowling hasn't been poor. The fielding has been terrific. Great catching. It's had everything. And the great throw from Andrew Simons. Dorney down the ground. So strong. These smiles. Oh, catch. Over the top, another boundary. Andy Simons cannot stop this. This is an unbelievable piece of willow that he's got, Yuvraj. And he's played brilliantly when he's moved away from the stumps and they've tried to go wide of off stump. He's magnificently he hit a six like that the other night. Yorker to finish. It's 141 for three. Yeah, thought so. Thought so. Still in the air. Air time. Well, they used to talk about uh, Michael Jordan's uh, hang time. That sure had some. Oh, that's a great piece of willow he's got. Goes again. Yeah. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. He's a goner. Yes, he is. The gamble's paid off. He's got the big man, Uvrad Singh. Michael Clark into the attack. Hit for six. Wicked next ball. Gilchrist went for the gamble. Lost the six, but got his man. 155 for four. What a reception he's got. You'd think he's just made 200 in a test match. Everybody's standing and absolutely enjoying the entertainment that that man has provided. Just pitched it a little shorter. Made him hit it on the rise and got a little bit of a top edge. Rohit Sharma is a new batsman, he just sneaked on. Everybody's still thinking about Uvraj. This is the end of Uvraj. 70 from 30 deliveries. Dolby this time. Look at the power. Heaved into the leg side. Field is converged. All the way. Yes! Well, he's a muscle man, MS Stoney. That's a long part of the ground. I tell you what, he doesn't cheat himself when he has a swing. It's no wonder he's got a crook back. Slow delivery again. Leg side is another boundary. Dorney, he's the man. Well, the old theory is get them on the board in the uh, big matches, in the knockout matches, and you're always hard to beat. India are certainly doing that. They're going to set Australia a real task here. Oh, they're all at it. They're all at it. 19 overs, 179 for four. Well, no fear cricket from India. Who are you? Bring them on. South Africa, England, Australia, what have you got? 179 for four. Last over. Here's Johnson. Anywhere will do, he gets away with this. 
shot! Back for two. Well, India are playing in the personality of their captain. As Bumble just said, no fear cricket. That's the type of player that Dhoni is. And he's, uh, he's taken his team along with him. He seems to be really enjoying this captaincy. Pulled away. Should be a boundary. Fielder gets there, yes. Just a couple, but Dhoni on strike. Dhoni, 35 from 16 deliveries. Check this score, 183 for four. Slower ball. Are they coming through? Trouble here. Normally at the stumps. Big appeal. Sharma's run two. Third umpire's going to come in here. I reckon he gets back. And he's home. What is it, Billy? Not out. Let's get on. 183 for four. Three deliveries left. Single. Good ball in this from Johnson. Shine at the stumps, still shine at the stumps, Australia. Slow delivery, excellent ball. He run through to the keeper, Dorney. I'm not sure he's there. I'm not sure that Dorney's there. Dead eye from Gilchrist. Mind you, that's not the best angle, but yeah, he's gone. So. Someone will have someone other than Dhoni will have to fast face the last ball. No time to get his eye in. It's on his way. Oh, might get away with something here. Leg buys will do. Is it going to roll? Oh, what a finish to the innings. Johnson's ball really well that last over. It's going to be leg buys. Anything will do for India, and they finish at 188 for five. India, a respectable 188 for five, with a magnificent 70 from Yuvraj Singh from just 38 deliveries, five fours and five sixes, translated to a strike rate of 233, and Mahendra Singh Dhoni with 36 and his strike rate 200. The Australian bowlers, Brett Lee, none for 25 and 4. Nathan Bracken, none for 38 in his 4 overs. And Stuart Clark, none for 38 in his 4. Mitchell Johnson, 4 overs, 2 for 31. Andrew Simons, 3 overs, none for 37. And Michael Clark, 1 over at left arm spin, 1 for 13. So the Australians would be looking to score 189 to beat India in Durban and take their place in the final in Johannesburg. Of course, the Indian bowlers would be looking to restrict Australia to make their way into the final. We will see Australia's reply straight after this break. And here he goes, Gilchrist, the man on strike. And a full lady delivery to start off. Bullseye. Well, that's what uh, Yvraj was seeing when he was hitting. If the ball is swinging. It's very hard to face and have hit big shots. Sweetly timed. First boundary for Gilchrist. That was juicy on middle and leg. And put away easily by the left-hander. And climbing into that, not even bothering to run. And that's muscular from Hayden. First boundary for him. Picked away on the onside. That's six. Wristy flick from Gilchrist. That's 17 for the loss. Here he goes. Favorite shot of Gilchrist, helping it on its way. It's that leg stump again. Seeing, hoping it swings, it doesn't. Well, it swings off Gilchrist's blade right into the crowd. Is this the launching pad? Is he away now? Oh, 
Wrapped on the pads. We can't, Sushan can't believe it. Now, leg by signal. We got an extra run because the ball went away into the outfield. Firstly, look at the uh, LBW. It was on the on the roll. The, the line's pretty good. Height was the issue. And so it was just short, just a tad too short from Shri Sant, but he's bowling the perfect line and length at the moment. Please, that was out, he's saying. He's begging. Good shape. He's getting a good shape going. Last ball of the over. And it's a good finish. Excellent over. RP continuing. And again, uh, chipped away on the onside. He'll uh, get the boundary, Gilchrist. Just got to get his line a little around off stump, outside off stump. That's in the air. Should land safely. And in fact, it's cleared the boundary just about, I think. Just for a minute, you thought he had mistimed it. Just what Australia wanted. Just needs one big over to get you on your way. That's well struck. So much better Hayden when he hits down the ground. Knocked him over! What a big wicket! When he bowls line in length and swings the ball, he's a fine bowler. Let the ball do the talking young man and you'll bowl like that. Gilchrist gone for 22, Australia 36 for one. Well, if the umpire don't uh, give a decision to your satisfaction, knock the stumps over. Uh, that's as conclusive as anything that a bowler will ever get. Knocking the middle stump out. Now, young man, keep bowling the same length as what whole of India is saying. And the absence of punting means Hodge gets to bat at number three. Well, I'd expect something big here. Yes, I haven't seen Matthew Hayden play a shot like that, I must confess. He just is so powerful down the ground, never needed to play that. Yes, delicate shots, uh, not exactly the hallmark of uh, Matthew Hayden's uh, batting. Fine leg was inside the circle, handy runs. Fine leg was in because he tends to be a release the ball rather than hit the deck bowler. Tell you what, I'd love to know how long it took to reach Uttapa. That ball would have reached the boundary in a couple of seconds. Massive! Show me a six bigger than this in this tournament. It's gone to Peter Maritzburg. Well, is this going to be more than 119 meters that uh, you've rushed? Smiles on the faces of the Australians. They now know that uh, Hayden's not going. This is the slower delivery. And whacked away. This is what Matthew Hayden is uh, famous for. Big, powerful shot. This is a big, powerful shot. Don't even bother getting it back. They've, they've called a new one out. Anybody working late in the office is there. Watch out. No, I think that uh, the pitch is uh, on that side of the boundary is, is a little close up. That's another big one into the crowd. 18 from the over, Australia turning it on, 64 for 1 from 8. Taken! The batsman's got to go surely, he waited for a while, almost as if he was expecting a no ball call, but he's got to go. Quite against the run of play, Australia have lost a wicket. It's 68 for 2. And Hodge has gone for 11. How often in this tournament have you seen a catch being taken in that position? When uh, batsmen have tried to help the uh, bowler uh, and use the pace of the bowler and hit it be just behind the wicketkeeper. 
this time it was almost like a full-blooded uh, full shot and Jorgen Sharma taking a smart catch the ball was traveling the Greek dreadlocks he looks like the warrior that he is hasn't quite stamped his influence on the tournament yet will it be today To, to get handed, oh, it's gone, he did the difficult part and then let it go through. Eight of the over, it's 72 for two after nine. And it's Hayden, the man on strike. And that smash down the ground, long on, will cut it off, good piece of fielding. The ball was coming to him quickly. It's all happening down there. Here goes Patan. That's in the air. And clears Arbajan. He's a strong man, Andrew Simons. And get six for that. That's why he's such a dangerous player. Oy! Sensible cricket plays it away for the single. Nine runs in this over, so Australia okay. keeping up with it. Important thing, uh, they've got wickets in hand. Plenty of batting to come. Hayden takes the aerial route and it's six easy well, glorious straight hitting there from Hayden he's picked the slower ball and just waited and waited and then got all of his massive weight behind the shot uh, India have got to keep taking wickets otherwise you get the feeling Australia will run them down That's a full toss and it gets the treatment into the crowd effortlessly put away by Hayden well he reaches a half century and is having a very good tournament that's a tremendous shot from Matthew Hayden bringing the 50 up with uh, absolute line shot that's like a line drive We heard a call from the umpire. Now, if it's a no ball, then it's a free hit. Yes. Two runs taken, no ball signal, a free hit. Still two balls to go, so Australia can make this into a big one. It's Hayden on strike. Now, he'll just pick his spot here. Doesn't matter where Sevak bowls, he'll go for it. Gets it in the gap and pull back nicely. Robin Uttapa, the fielder there. That's on the air and Hayden makes it 20 for the over. Expensive one uh, from India's point of view. 120 for two. Eight wickets in hand and here's Harbhajan. Simons in the air this time, who will clear the boundary. Okay, and a powerful strike this. Just get the feeling now, both these batsmen are going to go berserk. Good effort. Fantastic effort there from Harbhajan. It would have been an unbelievably good catch. It was hit so hard. Great effort. of a run out he needed to collect it direct hit and Simons would have gone there was still a chance one thought ball down off stump out of the ground and Srishan does the job for his captain brought back into the attack gets the dangerous Hayden 
Terrific knock there from Matthew Hayden. Wishes the uh, incoming batsman good luck as he goes past. But he's put Australia in a position to win the game. That's exactly what India needed. They need another one fairly quickly. But it has opened the game up again. Michael Hussey comes out to the middle. Pulled away. It doesn't bother to move. Andrew Simons, immensely strong. It's one over now, Bumble, isn't it? Either way. One good bowling over, one good batting over, and that's the game. Oh, that's a big hit. That's six. Don't even have to look. Right out of the middle. Right out of the screws. This is what Hussey has done so well for the last year and a half in the one day outfit now in 2020 cricket. He's the finisher, he's taken over from Michael Bevan in that role and that one, as soon as it was hit, was into the stands. This might just be the over that you're talking about. Two deliveries, seven runs so far. Hussey again into the offside, single, got to go, midfield. And there's always confusion when there's a runner out there. You, you look up, you see someone not running. Oh no, there's a mix-up. But out, out, wide out there, Matthew Hayden. There he is. Bowled him! Andrew Simons was the one that India wanted. Simons is a goner, it's Herbert Batan. Simons giving himself room. Off stump. Half a pint back. Huge wicket this. Simons 43, Australia 156 for four. Look at the Simons wicket. How big is this for India? Hussey had hit the big six and Patan. He had to be bang on line, otherwise he was going again. And that's the fourth down for Australia. Pressure on, run rate required, 9.8. It's dipping just under 10 now. Slow delivery, pushed into the leg side. That's the end of the 17. 159 for four. Bowled him! Harbisham, give it to me. I'll ball it. Harbisham turns again, once again, on his head. Harbisham sing. Off spinner. Starts his fourth over, gets Clark. 159 for five. Eruption here at Kingsmead. Another Aussie wicket goes down. I'm sure there's an eruption in India as well. All the support for the Indians around the world. They had a disappointing time of it in the World Cup at the start of the year, and here they are. Is this wicket going to get them through to the final? This is a bit different now. Sure is. Dot ball. Priceless. Brett Lee. Anytime you're shaping up in the dugout like that, you, you, I think there's signs of nerves, Bubble. It's a wedge there again. Oh, he gets away with it again. This is marginal. He's right on the extremes. Accentuated because of the left arm angle. Could go either way. But it's just inside that tram line, the line that you can see, just inside that. Got to go, Australia. Oh, dear me. That will not count. That will be a no ball. Very sorry, immediately. Hurled away, leg side. Let's it go. You can have a single. Fielder ops just to let that go. Things have just slowed down. One thing for sure, the first delivery means a lot. It's a four or six for Australia. Swing and a miss. Uvraj is out there. Uvraj as it's six sixes. They will know, India, that this is still on. Michael Hussey is a player. And so. 
Is that one? No, it's not. High in the air, third man. Takes the catch. Hussey dies bravely. Injured Hussey. It's you, Raj. Would you believe it? It must be destiny. India, are they pumped? What a game this has been. What pitches we're bringing you. Can you believe it? Australia are going to go down. And Yuvraj Singh yet again into the action. He's pumped. Only three deliveries remain. Brett Lee, new batsman. Australia, the 22 from three. Swung away leg side. All over. Bar the shouting. Come back for two. Allegedly two. Australia, no now. They're not in the final. Ball in. They're having fun now. Brett Lee, just a swing, going through the motion. They needed 20 from two. They need 20 from one now. Sharma joins in. He's picked up a couple of wickets. Smiles, relief for India. They're in the final. The Aussies are going home. That has been so impressive. India now have to take this to the Wanderers in Joburg. A different ground. They've got used to playing here. The atmosphere, it's like a home game for them. They've enjoyed that. It's really pushed them on to great things. Bouncer pulled away, leg side, it's four. It doesn't matter, it's India. More importantly, it's India versus Pakistan in the final of Monday. Look at these scenes. Australia falling 15 runs short, 173 for seven, with Matthew Hayden 62 and Andrew Simons 43. But really their top order did not come to terms with the Indian bowling attack. And India's bowlers, the wickets were certainly shared around. R.P. Singh, four overs, none for 33. Shrisanth, excellent figures from him, four overs, two for 12. Irfan Patan, a little on the expensive side, but he took two for 44 in his four overs. Joginda Chama, three overs, two for 37. Harbhajan Singh, four overs of his off spin, one for 24. And Virinda Sehwag, that was an expensive over, one over, none for 20. So India would take their place in the final of the inaugural ICC World 2020. And the man of the match who steered them there, Yuvraj Singh, for a blistering 70 of just 38 balls. That was a strike rate of 200 plus. A brilliant innings from him. And India in the final from Kingsmead Durban and the best of the ICC World 2020. It's goodbye for now.